when I meet someone, um, you know, you get into introducing yourself and say, well, what do you do? And I say, well, I make pies. Invariably, you get a big smile. We order our apples on Friday from a farm in upstate New York. Monday morning, we get them at 3 a.m. and we start making pies at 5 a.m. We deal with a fresh apple. We got our first big break with Giant back in 1981. I'd stack up 100 pies on a dolly and I'd wheel them in up the ramp and everybody would look and go, look at those pies, because they just stood out. We're not trying to be, pardon the expression, cookie cutter. Each pie is not gonna look exactly the same. We tumble the apple with the spices and the sugar and a little bit of starch, rather than sprinkling the sugar and spices on top. We want every slice coated. To me, it's always been about keeping that homemade look and sometimes it takes extra labor to do that, but you do what you have to, you know. The lattice has to be placed on. If it's placed on with a machine, every piece is gonna be perfectly straight. It's just gonna look mass produced. I think that plays into the homemade feel, the homemade look. You know, we don't inventory pies. We don't have freezers full or warehouses full of pies. We get a two week notice from Giant. We make them a couple of days before the ship date. We ship them, they're gone. They aren't sitting somewhere. We're trying to give the look and the quality and the taste and so forth of someone that took maybe three or four hours to make that pie. Now they can go to the store and buy it right there. Our research and development is nothing more than tasting pies. And the bottom line is, will you bring this pie to your grandmother's birthday? If it doesn't pass that test, it doesn't go out of here.